Hey everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. So we are going to continue our mask making um, series. It's not going to be that long. I don't know if you want to call it a series. But anyway, our mask make of some traveler's notebooks that are all like fall themed. Um, I'm not sure when this is going to air, but you know, I'm still on vacation. It is Thursday, September 2nd. Yeah, 2nd. Um, so yeah, I knew I wanted to get some of these done in, in my shop. So these are just going to be, you know, naked journals, um, for you guys to use if you're interested for whatever. You can use it for a gratitude journal, an ideas journal, a prayer journal, you know, everyday journal, throw in your purse journal, whatever journal. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, so I did go ahead, guys, and cut down the papers. Uh, and get them folded in there where they would fit because I started a video filming it and it turned into a hot, hot mess real quick. Um, so yeah, I turned the camera off. But we are going to bind these together. Um, so that's probably all this video is going to be is us doing a bunch of binding. Um, so like I said, you know, I have my pages in here. So before you bind it, you always want to look. I'm notorious for sewing things in upside down. Is to just look and make sure that all your papers are going the right way. And again, you know, this is pretty much just a um, naked journal. That doesn't go there. See, this is why we want to look and see what's going on. What's going on? Why is that there? Okay, that doesn't go there. Um, we will figure it out, though. Maybe we will do this. see which way I want that one going. Yep, that way. Okay. Now let's see. So yeah, just double check your papers. Make sure everything's going the way you want it. Especially if you have something that is, um, you know, directional. And make sure it's going the right way, of course. And I think we are good in here. So I have out my book binding kit. So we have that all ready to go. So we are just going to get these in there where we want them. And then we'll clip it. And I do have my um, cradle that I got from Amy over at crafty cat um, I believe she has a website now she is getting away from Etsy and it is um, www.craftycatusa.com all right so there's one so that one's ready and so let's check this one let's see I think I want this going this way let's double check everything in here that one's good. Okay, so this I want to bring it down some. Okay. That one's up the right way, right? Let's see, I have that one in there upside down. Are those pumpkins going the right way? Yeah, they're going the right way. This one's right side up, so. All right. So. Go ahead and get... These done. Hope you're all doing well today. I actually, between the last video and now, left all this stuff up, but went and took me a little nap. It wasn't a long nap, but hey, it's vacation, so you know, why not? Why not nap it on your vacation? Okay. Yep, that's the right way. Okay. And then we have this one. Yep, that'll be good there. 
go ahead and make sure that these are all the way that I want them to go. And like I said, most of them, you know, they're just blank pages anyway. Yep, that's all good. like those pages are a little long but So I like the little clips better. Let's see how the other things are going to work. I really like this one. It's really cute. that you can use whatever clips for binding you want it's just whatever works and these are just you know little TNs. so I have found that these oversized jumbo paper paper clips right there work really well all right let's check the yep middle of the signature let's see if we have that Yep. Small pink piece in there. Going in the direction we want it to. Alright, and one more. And we will call these done and ready to bind. Okay, yeah. I think we are good there. Let's just do that one there. That one there. All right, there we go. So now we are ready to get our all. So here's the cradle that I'll be using. And again, that is from um, Crafty Cat. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball where the center is there. So what I like to do is when I do my holes, just take my awl and push it on through there a little bit more. just helps me get my needle through there. Now we've got this one. So we will find our center-ish. Again, just give that a little poke on through there. Alright, and next. Let's see. And I'm just going to use some um, brown for these since they are fall. Alright, 
and then the next one and then the next one there and there Let's give that a little push through and our last one Right here. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Cradle. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Love that Cradle, guys. Makes this so much easier. All right. So that is done. Now I have my needle. And I go three, two, three. All right. We are going to need six. Let's see. That's three. Four. Five. Oops, I think I let it go. Well, maybe not. It felt like I let something go. Okay. And six. Alright, so there's those. So we'll go ahead and get this out of the way. Alrighty. So we will start, and I think the, that this is a three-hole pamphlet stitch, I guess, I think. That's what I've heard it called. So I'm going to start on the inside, on the middle hole. Just bring that through. Leave enough in here to hold on to. And then we'll go back up through the bottom one. And then we're going to go back through this one just being careful not to split the thread. Because if you do, you won't be able to tighten it. And then back through the top hole. And then this is going to go under there. And at this point, I do go ahead. To me, it helps me get them tighter. I do go ahead and take my clips off. I think some people don't do it until they um, actually already have it. That's cool. Okay. So we will give that a good pull and double knot it and number one will be done then we have strings long enough in case anyone wants to put charms on them so there we go number one number uno done now number two right so we'll get this threaded
and again we will just go through that middle hole and then through the bottom and then grab a hold of that kind of pull it a little bit tight so I can get above it so as not to split the threads and then back through the top I thought I missed it let's see let's try that again yep that's not want to go let's see let's try to see what's wrong with her why well, she's not wanting to go Here we go. We got it. We got it. All right. And then we go under there. this tight yep looks good and double knot it cute number two yep I like these these are going really well all right Let me get this I actually have a TM, guys. <coughs> Excuse me, in my that I carry in my purse. Been using it as kind of like you know, just notes, like a grocery list, and you know, things like that. Mainly for a grocery list. I'll pull it out and jot down what I need and. Alright, we'll pull this. Go back through that hole. And then go through the top. Nope, that one did it too, darn it. There we go. We got it, no worries. I'll bring that under there. All right. We'll get it a couple of knots. Oh, yeah, I didn't take those off. Well, my fingers are fumbling now, guys. That is super cute. I like those. All right. We are halfway there, guys. All right. Let's get through the middle there. And then back through there. And then back through the middle. And then through the top. And through 
there. Not sure why I'm throwing all those in there like a crazy person. Okay. Now. What did I do here? I did something here. We'll see. Let's see what we did. I wasn't paying attention. All right. Let's see, that's the right way. Those are good. There we go, we got it. Alright, so there's another one. But yeah, guys, I have one of those just throwed in my purse. So it's good to have, like, you know, if I'm at work and... You know, I need to pick something up. I'll jot it down. Or, you know, when I'm at home and I'm actually making a actual grocery list or come across... Oh, guys, because I've came across some really good recipes on YouTube. Let's see. And uh, that I want to try. My husband and I, after all the kids got out of the house and it was just him and I we like to try new things so we, I would just open up a cookbook um, close my eyes and randomly point to something and that's what we would go and get the stuff to make um, yeah so I mean that was super fun but we do like trying new things just a little bit so let me undo these and then we'll tighten this up and then I'm gonna have to pause you guys because Spencer took a nap with me and he was still napping so I left him in the bed and you guys know he's almost I think I've told you guys completely blind so um, which he wouldn't be able to get up on our bed anyway because it's so high up um, off of the floor but even with you know, the little doggy step things to get up and down off beds. He wouldn't be able to use it because he's pretty much blind. Okay, we have one more to go. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to pause y'all. He's barking. Let me go get him off the bed. All right, guys. Sorry about that. All right, so this is the last one here. Go ahead and get it done. Um... But yeah, I really like these little TN journals. Pull that, get that back through there. All right, and then through the top. Oops. Keep missing that one at the top. I'm not sure what slipped, maybe. There we go. We got it. We got it. And we'll go under there. We are done with that. So we'll go ahead and put it away. Alright. 
and double knot that. And now that is done. Alright guys, so there is six Traveler's Notebooks bound together and ready to roll. Alright, so let's put that away. So now, all I want to do really, because like I said, I'm not going to do a lot of anything on there. And those are going to be way too big. Um, I was wanting to find maybe something here. Ugh, and I've only got one sheet of the small ones and they gave me two sheets of the big ones. We could probably make that work though. Let's see. Let's see if we can make this work. Um, Alright, so let's see. That would look good on that one. I believe so. This blue. Choose to be grateful. Um, maybe that would fit on that one, maybe, Let's see. I think it would, maybe this on here, and then, okay, we'll figure the rest out in a minute, okay, so let's go ahead and get these cut out, and what I'm going to do is just these and then we can measure it and cut it down cut them straight how about that y'all know my cutting is crooked Set. Let's go with. Let's go ahead and do this one. So, all right. So this is. This cover is right at four and a half. So that's more than four and a half. So we came in. If we just came in here and did four. I think so. Let's mark that right there. And we'll start there. Um, what did I do with the cutter? It's a good question. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, this one we will cut about there. And then turn it around at four. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Probably should have came over a little bit more, but that's still cute. Alright, I'm going to cut, because I really like that pattern. So I'm going to cut this just to the tip of that leaf. And just to the tip of these leaves. Yep, I like that. Okay, so there's that one. Cradle's going to come in handy. Alright, so if we did four. Where do we want to come in at? This looks like it's just going to be a whole, whole lot of... Um,
whole lot of writing on this one. Not a lot of pumpkins except for at the bottom. So let's do that there. And then turn it around and go four. And then this one, I'm going to leave the link so that we have that because that's cute. Okay. Now, this one said we were going to use it on this one. So let's see. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's barely, barely going to make it, guys. I mean, like, totally barely. We'll go ahead and cut it and see how it turns out. How about that? Because that is just on that G. Same thing over here. It's going to be just on that L right here. I'm going to lose the tip, but you can still tell it's a L. Cute. I like it. Okay, I do like this background. So let's just lose all that craziness down there. And then go just to the top there. Maybe we can round the corners as well. Um, we're not going to do that at all, guys. I really like this cover. So, yep. Let's see if it'll work on another one. Um, what size is this? Yeah, that one's not going to work at all anyway. Okay. Let's put it over there. Let's see. I don't really want... Yeah, that's terrible. Nope. Maybe. I'm not sure on that one. Um, so we do have these small ones. So they would look cute. I like that warm and cozy. Um, yeah, okay. So let's, let's cut these out, guys. And see what we like here. Can't cut straight for nothing. Let's go this way. We can clean up the cut and with the um, cutter right there. Okay. Oops. So, let's see. Um, what edge did I not cut? This edge. I think that's what we need to do to get it cut even. to be hard to decide which one goes where. I like this gift tanks. I 
What about that, guys? I think that would be cute. Okay, we're going to put that with that one. That's a huge maybe. Huge, huge maybe. Alrighty. Let's put that over there. So let's get out this one and see... I think we need something that may love that green pop. Um, pumpkin spice and everything nice. Oh, get off of there. Okay. Okay, I kind of like that there. Yeah, I guess this one goes this way, maybe. Nope, that's upright. think we're going to do that. Okay. Alright. We will do that, guys. Those shoved up in the cradle. Oh, we've got this one. Um, what about cozy, cozy Autumn Days? Yes, yes, yes. Get in there. Okay. Alright, those are done. And I'm thinking, guys, we may do some stenciling on the inside on the pages that are white. Um, and that is probably it. We may put a pocket on the front inside cover, you know, using these right here that we had left. And we may do it with something opposite, um, like a different one than what's in there. Alright guys, where are we at? Okay, we're at 38 minutes. We're going to call it done. Sorry for the um, longer video. Uh, thank you guys for coming around. Uh, our, Lord Jesus, Lord can't even talk. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you all for your support. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.